schedule for one fall and the Love Pro Wrestling Grand Championship. We have gone on quite a journey You're this evening. The best in the biz, PWA Hall of Famer, Mike the Fix Fitzpatrick. We've gone on quite a journey tonight and it all leads up to our main event, the LPW Grand. Their way to the ring first, the challenger. The LPW Grand Championship is on the line. The challenger making her way to the ring. Zoe Sager issuing the challenge to Michael Richard Blades in November. There are layers to this match. There are layers to this story. Michael Richard Blades, the trainer. Make her way to the ring accompanied by her bodyguard, Reed Matthews. Hailing from Edmonton, Alberta, she is the intangible Zoe Sager. MRB, the trainer, the supporter, the booster of Zoe Sager right from day one. champion we've discussed a length change in the attitude of Zoe Sager as we see the champion again conspicuous by her absence Taryn from accounting hellacious match with Reed Matthews who is that currently at ringside flanked by his brother the rhinestone cowboy Stephen Crow Michael Richard Blades your LPW grand champion and there has to be some conflicting emotions in his brain defending his title against a protege of sorts and Zoe Sager. Making his way to the ring accompanied by the Rhinestone Cowboy Stephen Crow. Hailing from Calgary, Alberta. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Blaze defending that title as he has done month in and month out since securing it. And look at the face of Zoe Sager. She is locked on MRP. She's always had a chip on her shoulder. She's always had that intensity, but this, this is a different look on the face. I mentioned it earlier tonight. Title shots, title opportunities like this don't come around month in and month out, so you got to make them count. MRB, 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 the Fitz holding up the biggest prize in Love Pro Wrestling. And we're about to get down to it. The main event is underway. And there is a vibe in this room right now, an intensity in this room right now. I believe in you. I believe in you. Let's put up your shot time, Zoe. Oh, God damn. Believe in that. And look at Blaze, he likes it. Tried to instill that kind of attitude, that that feeling of fighting for what you believe in. Reed Matthews on the floor. Stephen Crow made his way back to the locker room area. The fans firmly, firmly behind. The champion, Blaze more than aware. And again, that slight distraction, we've seen it all night, just that extra second is all it takes. Blaze controlling the left arm, 
Sager looking for an escape. He's rolling through, grabbing a hold of that ankle. Stomping on the back of that thigh muscle. Controlling the legs, might be looking for a surfboard if he could turn her over. And you know all of this is setting up for that dungeon lock. Surfboard locked on. Referee in position. So he says no. Into the chin lock, just wrenching away the back and those thigh muscles. Zoe able to shift the weight to the side, going to the eyes to break the hold. But everything Blaze does is to set up for that dungeon lock since he's added that to his arsenal. Very, very successful. And we talked about the tenacity of other athletes tonight. Second to none is Zoe Sager. You see her right back. Handful of hair. Shortcuts will be taken. Blaze right back up to his feet. And again. Slap across the face. Heel strip from Blaze. And he might be looking to put that dungeon lock on right now. Sager scampering towards that bottom rope. She wants no part of it. Sager going to confer with Reed Matthews at ringside. Very meticulous, very methodical approaches by both competitors. Oh, he got caught and hung out over that top rope. Hard into the buckle. Ooh, sweeping the legs out and head to the middle buckle. Rolling through, the shoulders are down. MRP out at two. Charging in, but up and over goes Sager. Reversing into the corner, up and over goes Blaze. And springs across the ring. Reed Matthews, a forearm for his trouble, but again, just that second of distraction is all it takes. You have to assume this is a coordinated plan between the two of them to secure that championship. Blaze putting the brakes on, hooking that right arm over that top rope. Trying to reverse that whip. Caught that arm coming in. Up onto the shoulders, out the back door, going behind. Back and forth they go. These two very familiar with each other. I mean, Blaze had a hand in the training. Shoved into the rope, dropping down. Caught again, into that corner and rolling through. Landed her in the corner, please. Feeding off the fans as he ascends to that top turnbuckle. Sager prone on the canvas. Michael Richard Blades very at home up on that top rope, calling a shot. 450, Zoe out of the way, landing on his feet. A hard clothesline. Hard close. I mean, plain as day, the fit saw Reed Matthews clothesline MRB. He's calling for disqualification. I mean, it's blatant interference. I can't argue with it. It's the right call in terms of the rules. MRB doesn't want it. MRB. He doesn't want those qualification. He believes Zoe deserves this title shot despite of the attitude, despite of how she carries herself. And MRB wants to defend the goddamn title. That's what we all came here for. Referee sending the thickness back to the locker room and we're gonna get a fair fight. This match will continue, it's the right call. There's a kick right to the mush of Reed Matthews. 
Stephen Crow. He will be happy to escort the thickness back to the locker room. All right, now all the nonsense has been set aside. Caught him coming in with that flatliner and that running knee. All the extracurriculars are out of the way, and now we're just going to go one on one. Sager taking advantage of the momentary lull, that momentary distraction. This could be the moment. Hit that running knee hard in the corner, gonna go for the cover and hook the leg. Lays out a two. And you have to admire the respect shown for Blaze. Despite the shit attitude of Zoe Sager, it's gonna give her that shot at the title. And give the fans what they paid for. Controlling that wrist, getting Blaze up to the vertical base. Blaze putting those brakes on. Blaze with that front face off, trying to grind her down. Spinning out with control of that arm and driving those knees, and that's going to hyperextend that arm. It's going to hyperextend that arm. It's going to hurt that bicep, but it's going to make it very difficult to put that dungeon lock on. So he knows it. Blaze able to step through and he's gonna go for that dungeon lock again. So we trying to fight it. Trying to fight it with everything she's got. Ooh, those heels. The heel of the boot right in the face. Able to escape into that pump handle. Twisting through. to lock on that submission. She's got it locked in. The Fitz is in position. Blades very close to that bottom rope, but I don't know if he can grab it. Zoe yelling for him to tap. Blades not giving it up. Able to roll through back into the middle of the ring, but that might have been to his detriment. Now further from the ropes than he was before. Blaze saying no. You can hear Blaze screaming no. Zoe yelling for Blaze to give up. I don't know how much longer he can stay in the hold though. He might be fading. Trying to bring those knees forward. Tremendous show of power from MRB. Carrying Sager, planting her right in the middle of the ring. She hit hard. But that took a lot out of the champion as well, and that might just put the reset button on this whole thing. We might be back to square one. Damn right it's awesome. This is awesome. Blaze using the ropes to get back to his feet. Sager not far behind. I'm losing my voice, but I don't give a damn. Blaze using that top rope for leverage, rolling through. Snaps off that head scissors from the canvas. Charging in, firing Zoe across the reversal. Blaze up and over, landing on his feet. Great athleticism, ducking that clothesline. Blaze has the answer for everything so far. Caught that leg, caught that leg coming in, but again, the athleticism. Momentum swinging into the momentum, or into the favor of the champion, rather. Up onto the shoulder. Into a disgusting backbreaker. And this is what Blaze is dangerous. Stringing together that offense, the game plan coming together, the confidence growing. And Zoe might be feeling that title opportunity slipping away. Sunset bomb, the back of her head hit hard. Got the shoulder up. Tenacity from Zoe Sager.
absolutely some Sager fans here. And Blaze is into it. There's absolutely respect here, despite despite the slaps across the face. Blaze has been around the block. He knows what it's all about. And again, looking to put on that dungeon lock. Sager able to escape it. Again, able to escape it one more time. Almost stole a victory and almost stole that title. Into the corner, Blaze sidesteps. And this is vintage MRB wedging that head underneath the top turnbuckle. I mean, Blaze, he wants to pull the trigger. We've seen him use this move many times before, but just that little bit of hesitation, that little bit of space, that little bit of respect in the back of his mind, that extra second cost him head scissors into that middle turnbuckle. Charging him, but Blaze able to duck. Again, wedging that head in. And no hesitation that time. Fans want to see it again. Blaze might be happy to oblige. This place is a buzz. There is a definite palpable feeling of anticipation in this building. This is love pro wrestling, goddammit. Sager might be out. Blaze again. Vicious kick right to the face. Inverted fireman's carry, gonna walk her out of the corner. And we're gonna go a little old school with the airplane spin. MRB with the hands at his side, letting the momentum do the work. Zoe hit the flipping pile driver out of the airplane spin. How the hell that even happens, I don't know. Using her body as a battering ram through the ropes onto the floor. Zoe up to the top, MRB all out of sorts. Missile drop kick from the top rope, right on target. And the momentum can change on a dime in a match like this. Fireman's carry, strong strength. Planet Blaze head first down on the canvas. Shoulders are down. A fraction of a second away from making history. Zoe looking to follow up. Up and over another sunset bomb. Shoulders down again. A little bit closer every time. A fraction of a second away. Zoe frustrated, but has to keep her foot on the gas. Just the look on her face. The man that helped get her start in this industry, the man that helped train her, taught her everything she knows, and she wants to put him down. An eerie hush over this building. Firing in. This fight just got incredibly personal. We knew it would. MRB believes in her. I think Zoe also believes in her. Laying in. 
forearms, a flurry of violence from Zoe Sager. Blaze followed in with a vicious knee and a vicious forearm. Off the ropes. Spine on the pine. Two. Out at two. Out at two. And Blaze is as shocked as anybody else in this room. Positioning Sager. Looking to put an exclamation on this one. Gonna go high risk up to the top. Your LPW Grand Champion again hesitating. Twisting 450, landed on speed and rolled through. Spiking Zoe on her head. Going for that brain buster. Zoe able to go behind. Maintain that wrist control. Power slam from Sager. And again, that hesitation from Blaze to pull the trigger on his protege is costing him. Zoe Sager has no issue pulling the trigger on her mentor. Tremendous show of power up onto the shoulders. Crossing the arms. Shoulders are down. Again, Blaze barely escapes at two. Very, very tense in this room. You can feel it. You gotta be here to see this stuff live. Sager coming unhinged, swinging wildly. Hard kick between the shoulder blades. We've seen MRB use that very kick in his offense. And full of hair, Blaze up to his feet. Shoved off into the ropes. Up onto the shoulders. Hung out over that top rope. Into the brain buster on the knee. Many a match has been won with that very move, but not this one. Blaze holding on to that leg, and now it might be dungeon lock time. Again, Sager fighting. That dungeon lock is locked on. And Sager, that dungeon lock was locked on. She went for the easy way out. Pulling Michael Fitzpatrick onto MRB to break that hold. I mean, it's not ethical, but it was effective. And Sager taking that top, oh, hit that kick. Sager taking that turnbuckle cover off in that corner while referee was dealing with MRB. Blaze put the brakes on. Sager trying to force the skull into that exposed turnbuckle. Ooh, hard right hand from MRB. MRB gonna use that exposed turnbuckle. Again, hesitating, he can't pull the trigger. He can't do it to her. Fired off into that opposite corner. MRB getting the fits. To get that turnbuckle pad. Get that turnbuckle pad put back on. Zoe grabbed the LPW Grand Championship. MRB putting a stop to it. He doesn't believe she needs to use that title. Fitz just saw MRB with that belt in his possession. Fitz didn't see her bring it in. Fitz didn't see the low blow either. Oh, come on. Putting the bad mouth on Michael Richard Blaze. Her shot, Zoe Sager hits the Z Factor. And Zoe Sager 
Making history, the second ever and brand new LPW Grand Champion. Some might say the student became the teacher tonight. Reed Matthews out to congratulate Zoe Sager. And she stands tall in the center of the ring on top of the LPW mountain. We've definitely seen a paradigm shift in LPW on this night. Capped off by the biggest prize in this company, changing hands. And the era of intangible begins right here on our first live event of 2023. Zoe Sager, your new LPW Grand Champion. <laughs> 